What's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here again. This is a gameplay commentary on Black Ops. We're on the map Hanoi here and I've got my trusty HK-21 in my hands and you know I love this light machine and I don't know what it is about this gun but I just love it. I mean, it doesn't matter that it has a 30 round clip and a 60 with extended mags. It's lacking the 100 round clip that the light machine guns do in Treyarch, or not Treyarch's Infinity Wards games, but you know it's still a great weapon and I love it. But that's what I'm going to talk about today, guys. What I want to talk about today, guys, is my wish list for Black Ops 2. Now, I'm not going to go from what Infinity Ward has changed to Modify 3. I'm going to go from what Black Ops did right and just say basically what I think they need to fix for Black Ops 2 to make it the best it can be. Now, the, the obvious problems are 1. Lag, 2. Ghost, and 3. Second Chance. Now, I'm pretty sure... David Vonderhaar and the other people over at Treyarch have figured out by now that Second Chance is a stupid perk and it should not be part of the game. If you do not know what Second Chance is because you're just new to the Call of Duty series and all you've ever played is Home Fair 3, then let me give you a quick summary of what it is. Second Chance is a perk that allows you to, once you should be dead, it allows you to fall into your ass and take out your sidearm, being most of the time a, most of the time being like an M1911. It can be a python, it has to be a single wheeled pistol, and it allows you to fall on your ass with your pistol and shoot the guy. Some people like to refer to second chance as beast mode because when people fall into second chance, they tend to become like super elitist with their aim and allow them to kill people in one bullet or one bullet with their pistol. It's insane how overpowered that perk was and how annoying it was. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me why that's a good idea to reward players for dying. That's how I look at it. You're rewarding a player for dying so and by giving them some extra health, and it was just stupid. I mean, there's videos proving that Second Chance gives you a slight bit of immunity because um, this guy, he throws a grenade at this guy who um, I think had Second Chance, but he wasn't in Second Chance yet, but he was just normal, right? So I, he threw the grenade at this guy and then starts shooting at him, and as he's dropping in a second chance, the Semtex that is stuck to the guy, it goes off, and it does not kill him, it gets a hit marker because of the immunity stage, where when you're falling to second chance, you're immune, and it's so stupid. If There should be no immune at all, you should be, like, you should, if you're dropping to second chance, you should hope for the best, and pray to God that no one continues shooting at you, because there's no reason you, why you should be immune from bullets like that doesn't make sense at all I, I think it's just stupidness but regardless so that's second chance for you now lag I mean Marvel 2 had the best um, basically connections in the in all of Call of Duty as far as I'm concerned the game was very smooth running it was great Marvel 3 not so much because of lag compensation but you know Black Ops' servers just weren't that good their host um, what's the word I'm looking for like uh, dashboard was the longest problem, that's another thing, but like their ability to choose a good host was also pretty bad, so that's one thing they should do in Black Ops 2. They should definitely improve upon their ability to pick a host and just better connections and servers in general, just all that stuff. So players can play on a 4 bar more often, because honestly, the only time I'm on a 4 bar in this game is if I'm host. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I did get host quite a bit in my day when I used to play this game. But, I mean, you don't get it anymore. Now, I'm not going to skip this gunship because I got a lot of things to talk about. So, I want to stay on track here. So, let me have Ghost. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Ghost is a legitimate perk. As much as I complain about it and everyone else complained about it back in the day, guys, it's a legitimate perk. It's been in there since Call of Duty and it's always, it's it's been fine, except for in Black Ops. And now, I'm on for a 3. But what's wrong with this perk is it's so overpowered. This perk, per Ghost, allows you to hide from air support and from UAVs, or spy planes as they call them in this game. Now, they need to split that into two perks. Now, I've heard David Von Hart tweet about, um, well, I haven't really heard, I've read, but his, he's been tweeting about the fact that he thinks Assassin is overpowered in Minecraft 3 and how um, Ghost was just too good in this game. So, what he's thinking doing is doing taking the same route as Modern Warfare 3 did and splitting it into two perks. So, taking Ghost and splitting it, like they did in Modern Warfare 3 with Blind Eye and Assassin. But to make it even better, they're thinking of putting them both in the same perk tier. And that would be a great idea. Now, this is something I think they should take a look at, is Treyarch, what they should do 
is this should be three tiers. Now in Call of Duty 4, they sort of had this. They had the equipment slot. Like I didn't say this, but you kind of could tell there was the equipment slot, which would be like Bandolier, which would give you extra ammo. There was, you could have two RPGs, you could have C4s, you could have extra grenades. It was extra equipment, basically. Then there was the second tier, which is not much, hasn't changed much since uh, Call of Duty 4. It's still pretty similar. But it gives these things like sleight of hand, stopping power, juggernaut, uh, UEV jammer, things like that. And juggernaut basically it multiplies your health by 1.4, gives you a bit more health. And UEV jammer, it's just like Ghost on its own, no pro. So it's that was a pretty good balance, and that was basically what I would like to call your power perks. They would give you a bit of an advantage somewhere. They would give you a bit of an advantage in one thing or something like that. And then you should have your third tier which has your stealth perks. Now that would be, that should be like your ghost, that should be your uh, your ninja, that should be, what's another one that's stealthy, you just be your blind eye. That should be all those perks, your stealth, your power, and your equipment. That's the way it should be, at least in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Now, if you guys like these ideas, make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.